Alright, the uh, next maneuver is going to be the primary roll, or the aileron roll, okay? Okay. So you've been doing a great job so far, and we'll just keep things moving ahead. So, just like always, we want to we wanna pick a nice uh, reference point before we begin. That's going to help us assess the progress of our aileron roll. So let's, let's line up with these nice uh, northbound section lines. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do here is uh, maybe just tell me the entry speed for the aileron roll. 120. That's going to be 120 miles per hour. So, of course, we're going to pitch down about 20 degrees nose down pitch. Get that airspeed. We're going to monitor our RPM. Yep. Once we have the speed, we're going to we're going to quickly pitch up and fly level. We're going to check level just for a second. Set that uh, horizontal line. And then we're going to be right up into the maneuver. So it's going to be about a 30 degree pitch up attitude. We're going to rapidly neutralize our elevator and then we're going to be right into the roll. It's going to be full aileron deflection and we're going to use left rudder, same direction rudder to coordinate so that our nose uh, just stays exactly parallel to our reference point. Okay. Okay, we have our section line picked up. Nice and line up with the, these northbound roads. But once again, it's going to be a pitch down to 120 miles per hour. And we're looking for about a 20 degree pitch down attitude. Okay. Power is going to be set at 2400 RPM. We're going to achieve the speed. We're going to, we're going to quickly pitch back to level flight. We're going to check level for just a second, set that horizontal line. And then we're going to be pitching up 30 degrees nose up pitch. And then we're going to neutralize our elevator so that we don't turn. Uh, during the roll, and then we're going to be full left aileron, coordinate with the rudder. It's going to be a significant amount of same direction rudder initially. As we're coming around the the three-quarter portion of the roll, we're going to just relax. We're going to take pressure off that left rudder, and then we'll reapply it at the last corner, just to keep uh, uh, correcting for aileron drag. Okay. Hey, we're all clear here. And here we go. There for the attitude, there's the speed, 120, we'll check level, and we're going to pitch up. Out there, neutralize, and then to the roll, full stick to the left. Now I'm going to release some rudder, and I'll reapply that rudder. Neutralize both inputs, and we're going to pitch out. All right, there's the aileron roll. So you can see why we call it a ballistic roll. They're on a constant arcing path. Yep. One of the cool things that you learn in the in the in the aileron roll is exactly the role of all the con flight controls. Uh, you know, to, to truly achieve three-dimensional flight, uh, you, you really need to understand what each control does. And one of the questions I always ask people is, you know, let's say when it comes to turning the airplane, what's the primary flight control that turns the airplane? And a lot of people say the aileron. Well, it's not the aileron, because you just saw in that aileron roll that we used full aileron. But the airplane never turned. It never changed heading. And that's because it's actually lift that makes the plane turn. And how do we control lift? Of course, it's the elevator. So the elevator is what's responsible for changing heading of the airplane. But to not turn in your aileron, uh, in your aileron roll, you need to make sure you're controlling lift. But that's why we just sharply neutralize the elevator prior to the roll. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Fantastic. 